YouTube, my name is Danica and today I have my TBR for the 24 hour readathon on Saturday as well as a mini book haul. So I've been doing the Dewey's 24 hour readathon for a couple of years now and I always look forward to it. It's so fun to just spend a whole day reading as much as you can. So by this point I have sort of a strategy, I know which books I should be looking for. So I went to the library and I took out a bunch of books, mostly ones that I wanted to read for LeakyCon anyway. There are authors that are going to be at LeakyCon and there are also young adult ones or kids books that should be really easy to read even when I'm going into that 20th hour mark and I am exhausted. So the first is The Complete Spiderwick Chronicles by Tony Dittorlizzi and Holly Black. Holly Black is going to be at LeakyCon. This is also a series that I have a lot of at my bookstore, so I really want to know how I can recommend this to people. Next I have Extras by Scott Westerfeld. He will also be at LeakyCon. I've read the Uglies trilogy, but I never did read this last one. Next is The Summer Prince by Alea Don Johnson, who will also be at LeakyCon, and I'm really interested in this book anyway, because it's also a queer teen book, and takes place in Brazil. It looks really great. I'm definitely looking forward to this one. And then we have Paper Towns by John Green, which is the last John Green book I have neither read nor listened to the audiobook. Lastly is one that I probably won't read during the readathon, but I did get it recently from the library, and that is Will the Vampire People Please Leave the Lobby? by Alison Beatrice. This is a book about the Buffy fandom. It's another book I'm kind of reading to prepare for LeakyCon. I've been wanting to read books just about conventions and fandom, and I love Buffy, so this should be a good one. I'm probably not going to read all of those during the readathon, obviously, but I should be able to get through a lot of it. It's also really up in the air because it's hard to know what I'm going to be in the mood for, and I really don't want to push anything that I'm not in the mood for. So I'm probably also going to read some graphic novels. Most of the ones you see behind me are unread and are options, especially The Legend of Bold Riley, which I actually got at last LeakyCon, and I've been looking forward to it, and I'm not sure why I haven't read it yet, because it's supposed to be amazing. Some other options are a few of the books that I've gotten in for review or have bought recently, and that brings us to the mini book haul portion of this video. I call it a mini book haul because there's only a couple, but also because they're mostly really tiny. So Lizzie and Annie by Casey Plett. This is sort of a zine that I bought online, and it's a trans lesbian story with illustrations. This one definitely grabbed my interest and I had to snap it up. Next is this little graphic novel, War of Streets and Houses by Sofiano, and it's a little bit memoir, a little bit political. I'm really looking forward to this, and it should be such a short read, so that might be a good one for the readathon. I also got some of these books of poetry from A Midsummer Night's Press, which I requested and was looking forward to, but I didn't realize they were so cute! Look at these tiny little books! So we have Handmade Love by Julia R. Enzer. I read one of her other books of poetry recently and I loved it, which is why I requested another one of hers. And this is What Happened in Our Other Life, another book of poetry that I actually know pretty much nothing about. And When I Was Straight by Julie Marie Wade which I wanted just for the title, let's be honest. So these are all just tiny books of poetry that again I could get through really quickly and might be good for when I'm getting a little bit tired during the readathon. And lastly I have an arc of Frenemy of the People by Nora Olson. I just saw a review of this at the Bisexual Books Tumblr that said it was really good, better than Swans and Clans, which is another one of hers that I read. Which is good because I didn't like that one as much, so now I'm looking forward to this one if it's supposed to be an improvement. So that's my mini book haul and my TBR for the readathon. Let me know if you're doing the readathon too, if you are considering it. I really recommend giving it a try. It's so much fun, and you can read as much or as little as you want. You can just listen to an audiobook while you go about your everyday things. Just read as much as you can. Thanks for watching. Bye.